If America did a survey and asked the public, who do you think the best rapper to come out of the state of New York? Most hip hop lovers would probably start off with Jay Z, Marley Marl, the notorious big. I guess it depends on the era of hip hop they grew up in. On a cold day, February 15, 1999, in Harlem at 45 West 139th Street, Big L, who some might say is one of the best MCs to ever touch a microphone in New York State history, became a victim of his past life. As Big L stood on 45 West 139th Street, an unidentified vehicle rode up on Big L letting of multiple shots, hitting Big L nine times in his face and in his chest. The car sped off leaving Big L on the ground in his own pool of blood, leaving him helpless. He was pronounced dead on the scene. Big L was a really from the streets and really had problems with different individuals so nobody really knew who sent the hit to kill the Harlem-born MC. A lot of people were saying that Big L shooting was a retaliation form something that Big L did to somebody. Just three months after the passing of Big L, his childhood friend Gerald Woodley was charged with his murder. Before it happened, and then... Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, God, and God forbid, he got killed. Right. So, allegedly, yeah. So, now, I'm going to do it the right way. I don't mm -hmm. care what happened. Was this a hood beef? It's just shit that's got out of hand? You could say that. It was like some internal shit that, you know, like, cause basically, everybody from my block, like, family. Okay. Like, basically, like, he might have a kid by this, 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 this sister right here, these sisters, like, Big Lee and Rex, they had kids by both two sisters. Okay. Which is Raquel and um and Bridget. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's real, real They got real, real, real nasty. They got nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that kid yeah. got killed. And then remember, I was just telling mm -hmm. my man that mm -hmm. Miguel had lyrics. Oh man. Talk that yeah, shit. Oh, me metaphor though. punch metaphor. line and nigga ass up. Right. So I remember man, think. unfortunately y'all didn't see it. The wolf pack mm -hmm. was sold about two million records. Mm -hmm. they, they was gonna put money into them, they was ready, and then they, and then your man got killed. Yeah. So they had the unfortunate incident with bloodshed died a couple of years yeah. before that. Right? Yeah. And yeah. And the car crash. That that sucked. Yeah. And then you got had big hell yeah. got killed after that. So yeah. you think that's what stopped the whole like flow? Yeah, that, that, that definitely slowed it down. Gerald Woodley, the accused shooter, was shot at by unknown man a week before Big L's death. Rapper Cameron at the time was very close friends with Big L and Woodley and has always said a week before Big L lost his life, Big L had attempted to murder Woodley just a week prior. But in 2017 Big L cousin, Lou Black released a book and in a section of the book he said that Big L's oldest brother Big Lee had violated the terms of his probation and was sentenced to do some jail time. Big Lee was also the leader of the NFL crew, a street gang in Harlem. While he sat in jail, he ran across the connection to a Brooklyn hitman, because he needed to take care of three unwanted members from his NFL gang and one of those members he wanted gone was Woodley. The hitman was told to contact Big L, Lee's younger brother so Big L can show him the three members of his NFL to murder. Big L had been seen with the hitman just days prior to Woodley's shooting and days after the attempted murder of Woodley's life. Just hours before Woodley killed Big L he was trailed by the same hitman that he saw Big L with and the same hitman that had shot at him a week earlier. Woodley somehow was able to scare off the hitman and shortly after is when he saw Big L and shot him. After being arrested, Woodley was let go free due to lack of evidence. The streets say he was guilty, but him and his family said he was innocent until his dying day. H.E. would never get chance to tell the world the details of what happened because he was shot in the head on June 24, 2016. Big L legacy will always be remembered. His unique flow, using ebonics, with catchy metaphors and hyperbole bars that are most rappers could never imagine to think of. Rest in peace to the Harlem, New York legend. Big L sending condolences and prayers to his family and friends.